Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick Grim Dawn progress update with the uh, Oathkeeper character, uh, or Oath Oathbreaker, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, basically, we were playing a spin to win character, but I couldn't really show you any content since, you know, the game, the expansion just dropped. Uh, so our, we, our character is now viably spinning to win, even on the loading screen and startup screen with no monsters. Um, this is a bug that is brand new, but basically if you've got a character that's been to win viable You'll know at the main menu. So let's go ahead and start and let me just show you guys now This character is only in act one, but I just want to give you guys a few quick tips to get started um, So the first thing to note is remember we're gonna be an oath keeper uh, Soldier, but subclass doesn't really matter right now. So I leveled with Aegis, which is basically bounce I kept Aegis level one and max out avenging shield for the bounce um, then when you start noticing your damage sucks on elites, start pumping points into Aegis so you can actually kill them. Um, basically, I went from Aegis straight to Eye of Reckoning, and Eye of Reckoning is what I've been using. Now, one thing to note about Eye of Reckoning is make sure you've got energy pots or spirit elixirs because it will consume them. And um, I kind of decided to go all the way and get Soul Fire. I probably wouldn't get Soul Fire until maxing out Presence of Virtue. And you may, you know, respect here and there, whatever. But the reason why Presence of Virtue is so good is because it gives you flat energy regen. And it gives you flat offensive ability, which are two things that are insanely strong early game. So, um, now I've just got my Guardian of Empyrean. I'm not sure... What I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to, well, obviously I'm going to max out Presence of Virtue, and then I'm either going to go and grab Celestial Presence and Divine Mandate, or I'm going to go right into Soldier. I guess I should just finish out these next 10 because I'm already here. But anyway, let me show you guys how the character looks. Uh, so I guess we can do like a quick Warden run. Um, one other thing to note is I did say that this was a shield character. I am using a two-handed sword. Uh, I'm splitting my points between cunning and physique. The only reason I'm using a two-handed sword is it's early game. The sword does big deeps. We don't need to survive because we need to do big deeps. Okay, let's put our buffs on. Summon dude number one. Definitely going to try to get some total speed. Some movement speed, attack speed later. I think attack speed scales the cost of the uh, skill, which is kind of spooky right now, since our energy kind of sucks. Our damage is good, energy kind of sucks. This is also on a brand new, fresh account, meaning all of the stuff you guys are going to see me show was all acquired freshly. For some reason, all my characters are gone. I don't really know what happened. I've also got no devotion procs yet either. Still setting up the devotion. I'm not exactly sure which way I want to progress first on it. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played, so that devotion is going to be a little tricky. I wouldn't follow me exactly because you're going to end up respecting a lot. Yeah, I mean, Whirlwind drains a lot early game, but if you look, my energy regen is actually, like, it's much better than it was before. This is with no components. I'm sure if you use things like Ectoplasm, you could manage it. Like, not that big of a deal, you know? Okay, this fight was a little tricky last time. Just because, you know, we're like, right on his face the whole time.
like I said, the fight was a little tricky. You may need to play, you know, get your APM up to about 170 before you can successfully kill that boss, but I'm sure you'll get it on the first or second try. Um, ooh. So this brings me to my next point. We are looking for physical damage. So now these boots are actually nuts. They have physical damage, movement speed, and fizz res. I do lose a lot of res, but who cares, dude? Let's... Nice. I'm pretty sure that's even going quicker as well. Uh, from Warden, I ended up crafting Calamity, just because it gives, like, basically flat fizz and offensive ability is what we're looking for. Um, so as I was talking about before, with our devotions, I'm currently, like, kind of torn, right? So right now, I decided to get Stag first, because you get fizz damage, and you get, like, flat fizz and percent fizz, which is super good. And then, after Stag, I think I went for Hammer, um, because it's also, again, good fizz, and I came to the realization that... I don't think I'm getting Azraka first because the requirements for Azraka is basically going to want me to complete Shield Maiden, but I don't think I'm going to be using a shield. I mean, I'm not really sure when I'm going to start using a shield, to be honest. I'm just not really sure because I just don't fucking know yet. Um, so I was going for a more like global, so I was actually going to get Hammer because Hammer sets me up for whenever we start working towards Ulreon, but... I also came to the conclusion that if I get Turtle right now, right, which Turtle is good because it's just all defense basically, minus physique requirement for shields means you can go more in cunning. Uh, we get Tortoise, which is just nice overall, percent health, very good. And then you get Turtle Shell, which is nice because you're going to be pretty ballsy because you're playing spin to win, so can't really be a pussy and run away. You got to get like right up in their face. So if I get Turtle, which means I could respect one, two, three, four, five, plus my current one. Uh, Turtle and Stag would unlock Dire Bear because I would have five because I'm at three right now. So bam, actually I'm an idiot. Never mind. Dire Bear requires five. Just kidding. So Dire Bear is our next goal because for one point we can get 40% Fizz. And if you need more damage, you can get, uh, for example, Dire Bear again, four pointer until you're ready to respec. Um, but I don't think we're, we're, we're not using this. It may actually not even be bad because you can put it on Whirlwind, and you know what? That might actually be okay to level with, and then we respect. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much what we're doing. Haven't figured out components and shit yet. That's all going to be to come. So, uh, hope this video helped you out. Hope it gave you guys a little bit of direction. Don't forget, if you're new, you can support your main skills with procs on the Devotion Tree to customize your character even further. So, for example, what I was talking about with Dire Bear, I could put on Eye of Reckoning. Eye of Reckoning now has a 15% chance on attack with a one second internal cooldown to proc a skill based off your main hand weapon, which would do a ton of flat fizz plus that, and it would even stun the target, which is really good. So, you know. But anyway, like I said, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.